Mark your calendars and join us for Malcolm Media's premier ag industry events this November featuring grower seminars with continuing education credits and an industry trade show. You don't want to miss them. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine and here in Oregon, hazelnut growers are taking every opportunity of good weather to prune out eastern filbert blight this time of year. I'm here today with Jay Scheid at Oregon State University who talked about the damage that eastern filbert blight can cause on not just the older varieties but also somewhat on Jefferson. Here's Jay. I'm an extension plant pathologist and I work on uh, eastern filbert blight. Uh, and here's a stick that we have that uh, has a lot of the canker on there. Uh, this has uh, been a real threat to the hazelnut industry. Uh, it started oh, back in the 60s and has uh, since uh, very slowly spread down through the Willamette Valley uh, to uncover most all of our hazelnut production areas. Uh, it's a perennial canker. Uh, it's characterized by these uh, black bumps that you see uh, along here. Uh, and also being perennial then it uh, you'll see a section of canker and then it will expand the next year and the next year and so basically it's systemic in the tree and that's the real problem with this disease is it just keeps on going. Now we've come up, uh, our uh, breeder has uh, produced uh, resistant cultivars. Uh, the main one here is uh, Jefferson at a very low frequency, about three to uh, five percent uh, of an orchard. We have found uh, in the worst conditions uh, some trees uh, with eastern filbert blight on them. Uh, they have that same perennial canker aspect to them, that sort of uh, these calloused ridges that you see there, but it doesn't sporulate on this resistant cultivar and that's the good thing is it won't complete its life cycle on here. We're ha having growers sort of be aware of this so that uh, they can remove these sorts of trees out there. Most of the time, about a third of the cankers are going to heal over and not be a problem. Uh, we don't generally see them this bad. Uh, usually it's about a, a handful of trees in a 30, 40 acre orchard. So uh, not too many of them, but we don't want the fungus to complete its life cycle on here, so we want growers to recognize it and uh, remove it. Thank you, Jay. Learn more about best practices for orchard management by reading Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, PacificNetProducer.com.